this new era of cooperation recently between the two newly elected governments. This mutual understanding and respect between our two nations will enable us to keep open channels of dialogue, and we take that very seriously. Suhal Mertz Uzanar is an associate professor of international relations at Marmara University, and she joins us live now from here in Istanbul. Professor, thank you for being with us on the program today. Now, Greece and Turkey, without a doubt, have had a uh, very controversial history of relations, but it seems like the two countries have now agreed to iron things out. Uh, yes, uh, we have very difficult uh, history to, 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 to remember. It's so painful for each side. So uh, today uh, we have so many different problems, but uh, we, you know, we share the same geography and we need to cooperate somehow and we need to find a way. So today's meeting is an, an example of this, uh, this, this requirement because we see that the, there is a need for dialogue because, you know, we had a very difficult uh, two years, two, three years in the past because of this, the rising tension in Eastern Mediterranean. And as a result of that process, we see declining uh, the, the momentum of the, the dialogue. And now we have a new opportunity with the new government in Greece. So this is a very important step for creation of dialogue channels again in between two countries. Right, it seems like it's easier said than done though, especially when it involves disputes that dates back to centuries, uh, to decades ago rather. You mentioned the Eastern Mediterranean, there's a Cyprus issue, illegal migration, Libya. I mean, the list goes on. What kind of diplomatic tactics do you think both sides will use to overcome these issues that will benefit both Greece and Turkey? First of all, uh, there is no miracle in this kind of conduct. Uh, the, the first step for finding out any uh, the, the, the solution, uh, we need to be in, in dialogue. Uh, these uh, meetings, the first meetings in between Turkey and Greece, targets to create that dialogue again. So uh, how much uh, the, the benefit we can get from this dialogue is another issue because we have, as you mentioned, so many different problems, especially the, the Cyprus problem is so important and also there are many different Aegean problems. They are directly related with uh, sovereignty issues and we know that Greek-Turkish dispute uh, mainly depends on the sovereignty uh, sharing issues. From that approach, uh, yes, I agree with you. It's very easy to say instead of doing that, so we need to to, 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 to discuss all of them. Uh, yes, we don't don't wait any fast solution to them. Uh, but uh, what is the essence of any kind of uh, the, the, the progress in this kind of pr problems? It is dialogue. So when we look at these explanations of both uh, foreign ministers, we can see that there is a kind of insistence on keeping this good uh, the vibe in, 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 in contact. So creation of uh, some important uh, the corporations in economy and other fields. But of course, uh, about other uh, important issues, there is need for political will, such mm -hmm. as the Asian problem or Cyprus issue. So at the first step, we don't wait any important, mm -hmm. let's say, the shift in any in, in, in the critical issue, but creation of a continuous dialogue and a positive atmosphere mm -hmm. should not be undermined. All right, Professor Zuhal Mert Uzunar, thank you so much for being with us here on the News Hour and sharing that analysis with us. Thank you.